So last time, in our last lesson, we learned about ordered pairs, and we also learned about the uh, coordinate system. Um, <clears throat> let's just take a quick review here uh, and uh, review what ordered pairs are. If we have an equation like 2x plus y equals 1, uh, normally uh, the standard form would be to rearrange this equation so that y is equal to the rest of the algebraic e expression. In other words, we're going to want to make x, a y stand alone by itself on one side of the equal sign. So to do that, we're going to subtract a 2x from this side and a 2x from this side. And when we do that, this becomes 0, and we get y equals 1 minus 2x. And normally, we put the x term first, so this would be y equals a minus 2x plus 1. We have to make sure we keep the, the correct uh, signs. Now, to generate ordered pairs, now that we have an equation in standard form, we can just substitute values of x for our x and then determine what the corresponding value of y would be. And we usually do that with a table. We'll build a little table and we'll enter our x values and determine what our y value is. And we did this uh, last semester when you took uh, 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 elementary algebra. So if we say y, x equals 0, we'd put a 0 in for our x, so we'd have a minus 2 times 0 is 0 plus 1, so y would equal just 1. And if we say x equals 1, we'd have a minus 2 times 1, which is a minus 2, plus 1, a minus 2 plus 1 is a minus 1. And if we had x equal to 2, we'd have minus 2 times 2 is a minus 4, plus 1 would be a minus 3. And we could do, usually we, we, uh, we do these evaluations with some negative numbers also. So we'll take a negative 1. If we have x equal a negative 1, we'd have a minus 2 times a minus 1, which is now going to give us a positive 2. When we multiply two negatives together, we get a positive. So we'd have a positive 2 plus 1, which would be 3. And if we had a minus 2 here, we'd have a minus 2 times a minus 2, multiplying two negatives. We get a positive. Minus 2 times a minus 2 is positive 4, plus 1 is 5. Well, these are ordered pairs. Ordered pairs, remember, are pairs that have our x value and the corresponding y value. And we write ordered pairs usually in parentheses. We always write the x value first, we put a comma, and then the y value. So this ordered pair would be 1 and a minus 1, and 2 and a minus 3. And here we'd have a minus 1 and 3, and a minus 2 and 5. And that's what we learned last time, how to generate these ordered pairs. Well, we can use these ordered pairs to generate a graph. And we'd use, we do that using the, the uh, Cartesian system or the coordinate system that we discussed last time. So I'm going to use some graph paper here. And I'm going to build me a coordinate system. And I do that just by uh, drawing two axes on the graph paper. And I'm going to label my axis the vertical axis is going to be my y-axis, and the horizontal axis will be my x-axis. And I'm, for this uh, problem, just so you can see it, I'm going to write the ordered pairs that I just generated. I'm going to write them down here. They were 0 and 1, and 1 and a minus 1, and 2 and a minus 3, and a minus 1, and 3, and a minus 2, and 5, okay? Now, we can plot these on our coordinate system. 
make each one of these little increments one unit. So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This one would be 10. I don't always write each one. But maybe now that we're just learning this, maybe I should. So I'll go ahead and put them all down here. This would be on my x. So if I, this is my zero point where the, the um, axis intersect. This is zero. So this is going to be a minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, etc. And on my... My y-axis, as I go up from the, on, from the zero on the y-axis, I go in a positive direction. So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and that's as far as I'll take it. If I need to, I can add as I'm graphing. And then if I go below the zero on the y, I go into negative territory. So I have a minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, okay? Now I can graph these ordered pairs. The first number is my x value. So I'd find the x value on the x-axis. So 0 on the x-axis is right here. My next value is a 1. And that's my y value, so I'd find 1 on the y-axis. That's right here. So I'd have a point right there. This is the point 0, 1, right there. My next point is x equals 1, y equals a minus 1. So I'd find my 1 on the x-axis and a minus 1 on the y-axis, and where those points meet right here, 1 on the x, minus 1 on the y, this would be my second point. And my third point is 2 and a minus 3, so I go over 2 on the x, x is 2, and down 3, a negative 3 on the y, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, this point is right here. And I'll write that here. I didn't write it on this one because I didn't have room to write it. But we know I have now three points. So we'll do the next one. Well, minus one. So our x is a minus one. So on the x-axis, minus one is right here. And our y is a positive three. Positive three is right here. So our point here is plus one I'll write it 1, or no, it's a minus 1, isn't it? Because it's on the negative side of the origin, and a plus 3 on the y. And the last one is a minus 2 on the x, so minus 1, minus 2, and 5 would be right here. And I'll write that over here. That's a minus 2 and a 5. Now I've plotted all of the ordered pairs that I generated. And I can draw a line that connects all of these points. Use a straight edge to do this. It can be a ruler. This is a protractor. But if I set a straight edge on these, this line of points, I can draw a line that looks like that. So I've generated ordered pairs from an equation, and now I've plotted a graph of that equation. 